Well, here we are back at our model railway shed, and as you can see, we've been playing trains on the floor quite a lot, but it's time now to start building proper baseboards inside. And today's building project, which starts off the whole thing, is a traverser. So, what is a traverser? I spoke to Simon to find out more. So a model railway traverser is a storage system for model trains, um, which is a bit like a fiddle yard. A fiddle yard has lots of different points, so you can store lots of trains in a sort of behind the scenes way, whereas a traverser works with a sliding uh, baseboard. Is that this part here, Simon, that you've drawn? Yeah. There we go, and all the tracks slide left and right. So this, these are the railway lines and this is another railway line. What, what's the advantage of a traverser, Simon? It means no, you don't have to use points, which is much better. Yeah, Not for realism. Not for realism, no, particularly better for ours because we want the traverser under the baseboard and points under the baseboard would be very hard to access. But we think the traverser you can slide out if you want to clean the tracks or anything. But if you're doing your model railway, you choose. You can still use points, but you can motorise them. That's the easiest way. That's, that's another way, isn't it? Yeah. End of phase one. OK, so this is going to be the actual sliding part of the traverser. It's going to slide like this. We're going to use some draw runners mounted on the bottom of it in a minute to, to help that happen. And it's going to have, looks like six tracks are going to fit quite comfortably in it. And then these um, are the obviously sides. Obviously they'll take the full length. Yes, they'll run the full length of the board. And these are just strengtheners because without that it would just be a piece of plywood which would be a little bit bendy. So now I'm going to turn it over, measure and it up, the tracks might fall off it, mark it up else. and fit the draw runners. Simon, what is a traverser? So basically, a traverser is where um, there are like lots of lines which are here, six about on this piece of wood, and they can move across on this piece of wood. And we're using raw runners. And there's an up there, are, so there are going to be sidings up there, and these are the moving rails. So slide it all the way out, so all the, you know, that's all the way in. Now slide it all the way out, that's it, to just there. And that's the sixth track now, will be lined up with the escape road. It does actually go even further that's for the purposes right. of cleaning, but I don't think we need to operate it like that. And trains might fall off the end if we do that. Great, and that's today's work. Push it all the way home then, Simon. That's it. It's quite hard to move, like. Yeah, the draw runners are a bit slow, but that's okay. But when they wear in a bit. I think it should be fine, yeah. Great. Just thought I'd take a moment to show you where I'm at with uh, my traverser and track. I've built the supports for the escape road from the traverser, and I'm now working on how the tracks are going to sit in here and how they're going to connect up with the one track there. And I've cut these little pieces of Vero board into thin strips, two tracks wide. These are going to be glued right on the edge there, and I'm going to solder the ends of each track to them just to make sure they're held really firmly in place. They're going to be a bit stronger than the normal plastic uh, sleepers and, and pins. Um, I think that's important because this is going to be moving and it just needs to be a good strong connection. I'm going to put one this side as well for the escape road. You'll need to cut the track in the middle between the two rails otherwise it will short circuit. I'm going to do that afterwards. So we've just installed six roads track onto the traverser. One under King George. It's just slightly place. pinned for now, except for at the end where they're soldered onto the barrow board. Um, we're just going to give it a test before we fit all the track down permanently and make sure it all runs. So Simon, 
Could you do the honours? This is the first official moving train we've had on the baseboards in here. Could you fire up King George the First? That's a good start. The sounds come on. Give it a whistle. Okay. And could you very slowly run it onto the main line? Not the main line. Escape. Escape road, if you like, yeah. And this currently goes nowhere. We just put some buffers down there. Run it down to the end and then stop it, Simon. And meanwhile, I will pull out the fiddle yard to the next road. And we can move the thing backwards. And hopefully, we can run the king backwards onto it. We just check it got this perfectly lined up. Yeah, looks good. Okay, Simon, would you give it a toot? And then we're going to reverse it into the second road. The traverser. I thought it was going to go forwards then. Check we got it lined up nice. Oh yes! Just went to about there. Stop it. Yeah, the track's a bit dirty at this end. I've only cleaned to about here. So let's move that forwards. And then run it forwards again, and then we'll repeat that for every road. Perhaps we won't film every single road, but uh, yeah, hopefully here you can see the idea of how the traverser works. And yes. see Simon having some fun. It seems to be walking. Okay, we've tested all the way up to road three now. We're just going to fire up a diesel. So you can see that the, uh, the King George I has still got sound on uh, because it's still powered even though it's not in position. That's dangerous because it could just drive off the edge there. So Yay! I'll just put that block there for now, but I need a better solution for that long term. We're going to actually put some real buffers like that one. Yeah, you? I don't have to unclip and remove buffers every time I'm sliding it though. We'll figure something better than that. But for now, let's try firing up number 50026, indomitable, class 50 diesel. What number is it? Uh, so it should be 0026 on the controller. Yeah, that's it. And then fire up the sound. Just the same time. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Excellent. Let's check the track is perfectly aligned. We've got to do this by hand, make sure it's lined up right. I think that's good. Okay, let's run it off. Other way. Just slightly dropped out going over the joint there, didn't it? Yeah. Send it back into road five, because we've not tested road five yet. So, if you reverse it now. Here it goes, here it goes. No derailing. Please. Uh, front wheel, I think, did bump. But I think we're all right. Okay, good. And shall we now send the king out again? and then reverse that back into road four, just so we've tested all the roads. And then we'll test it with the 58 and everything. Sure, with the arrows between the two locos. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, okay, it probably means one of them's got its decoder in the wrong around, but they both came with decoders in. We don't mind this. We can fix that. I think you can change it in a CV, actually. That rolled off very smoothly, great. Well, thanks for watching our video about building the model railway traverser. You can see it's fully loaded behind me now and we've been using it for a couple of weeks and I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. I think if I were to improve the design, one thing I would like to include would be some kind of isolation uh, mechanism so that only the track that's lined up with the escape road is live. We haven't yet driven any trains off the edge of it onto the floor, but I, I can see that that's something that could happen. Um, so if it were electrically isolated, um, I think that would be a good safety measure there. 
Uh, but other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with the design of this. So uh, do please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more uh, progress on our railway layout. There's lots more happening behind the camera that you can't see yet that we'll show you soon. Um, so stay tuned and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching our video about building the Traversa. Silence.